about to pick up a rain check from Hobby Lobby. Right, Katie? Yeah, yeah. Hobby Lobby. And then we are possibly going to go to a Goodwill to... I'm going to start calling it picking. To go picking. I'm going to look for some really cheap dishes to break up because I think that's what I'm going to do next. Sometime this next couple days, I'm going to break up some dishes and plates and stuff. I've got an idea. Um, and then I think we may or may not go to Michael's. It depends on the mood. There's nothing I want. I was just going to browse. Nothing you want, do you, is there, Katie? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I was just going to browse at Michael's. Um, since I was just going into town. But I got a couple ideas in my head. Um, I don't want to tell you guys about them because I don't want to make you dizzy like I make my friend Bevels dizzy. That's for you, Bevels. Um, so, she teases me when I tell her I'm going to do this, do this, do this. She's like, you're making me dizzy. I'm like, what do you think's going on in my head, you know? She doesn't realize this is her crazy friend in Florida. So, um, those dishes I bought yesterday for Wes, yes, they were a, they were not the right dishes. And um, I told him they didn't have to take them. I'd do something else with them. But he's like, no, I like them. She's like, no, he'll take them. I'm like, but y'all don't have to feel like you're stuck with something because I bought it. So, that's my saga for today. I'm going to run my errands into town. I've been playing around with some silverware. No, I take that back. I've been playing around with some vintage keys I picked up yesterday at the swap. And boy, that guy knew what he had because it was a lot of bickering to get him down. I couldn't get him down. I actually, I couldn't get him down a whole, I mean, I got him down a little bit, but I couldn't get him down a whole lot. The man knew what he had. He knew he had something because I'm looking them up online now and it'll cost me almost $10 a key to get it to myself. So he knew what he had. So he was, his prices were not unfair. Um, but I've been working on some of those keychain things. Okay, stop rambling. My hand's hurting. Can I stop rambling because her hand's hurting? She's a little on the poo-poo side today. All right, y'all. See y'all in a bit. All right, you guys. We've got a sidestep here. We're stopping off at a place that I haven't been to in a while. It's like a little, little individual little areas where people have stuff. Like a peddler's mall or antique mall but this is new and new stuff hello i know how much are they asking for theirs 25 so my prices are not bad i asked 20 for my charm ones Oh, these are pretty. Look at these. There's something in that chicken. Uh, Tiffany Company glass mug, yes. Excuse me. This caught my eye. They're asking five ninety nine for this wooden rooster, chicken, something, another. Some beads. I don't know how much they are. They might be these right here. Beaded bracelets, six bucks. Nope. Ooh, I like this. They want $7.99 for that. Is 
I think it's gonna be a, a miss today. There you go, Janie. There's some red uh, lanterns for you. See, I'm not really seeing nothing so far. So when they start getting fancy like this, then they're going to charge you more than you want to pay. That's what I have learned. Look at that rooster. I like that one. Katie found this for four ninety five. It's supposed to go on the wall. It's old. You can put a little plant right there. I don't know. It would be a neat piece. I gotta think about it for a minute. Katie just spotted the eggnog punch bowl set. Now I have got I've got the other cups. I got them for 50 cents a piece in Arcadia. Yes, it did. They have the um, old, the um, the song on them. The song from? Yeah. That old Lang Syne, the old Lang Syne song. I've got them. This is the other cup. There's no song on the back side. Yeah, there's no song on the back side. $35 is not bad. This booth is on sale, but not this. They're strict about it. And I was almost tricked here, but I know not to be tricked. I saw greenish, and it's not his stuff. So I did not, I'm not buying it, Wes. Not doing it. I done learned my lesson. See, this is newer stuff here. There will be some vintage in here and some old. But this stuff is not yard sale prices. Yes. Unless you get lucky. Think this right here is an old hat display. Yep, hand painted head display Rosa. Okay, do I think it's old? I don't know. I can't.
can't date this one. I'm not sure. It's ceramic. I think it's ceramic. I don't think it's wood. I gotta set you guys down. I decided against it. This one's bright and grabs you. This looks like it was painted on an old cabinet door. That's what that looks like. Here's your old TV. Mickey Mouse TV. That makes me think of Marsha. These are pretty. These are pretty. Here's one for Janie and Bevels. Okay, those are those Starbucks cups I keep hearing about. That's they're supposed to be worth money. They've got those marked at $16.17 a pop. So Much of these a piece. These make me think of Marsha. There's no price. one last aisle to go down to just one last aisle right now everything in here is really nice so I don't think unless you're looking for home decor or something I don't think I'm gonna find what I'm looking for They have baseball cards. New England steamer. I'm not seeing nothing. But, oh, they do have baseball cards. They have them organized, so. Basketball. Surplus. You'd have to, I, 
I wouldn't know what to get him. I am not seeing nothing. I am not seeing nothing. Yes. Yeah, I saw it. But it's so unique. It's kind of ugly. But it's so unique. It's... How much is ugly? $10. That's ugly. I suppose you don't want it. No, I don't like that. That one I don't like. I saw it. Thank you for pointing it out. But I don't like it. Okay, didn't see anything I had to have. Sounds like somebody just broke something. I need to check that red thing out right there. See y'all today. Can't read it. It is thirty four dollars. I'm gonna think I'm taking it apart. I gotta put you guys down and investigate. All right, you guys, it doesn't screw. Is that for you? I don't I'll know. I'll carry it up for you. Can well, I just wanna, you wanna is it safe to put it there? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll be the It looks like it's probably 24 inches high. I would say, for you a bit. Yeah, I was trying to do the 12 inch thing. I know about a 9 inch spread on these. So, more like 20, probably 30, 32 yeah. at the most. Hey, Bevels, you need one of those? <laughs> I have a friend who uh, lives off grid in Kentucky, and she actually uses so a it. ringer, but she has an electric one. She uh, hooks up to a generator when she wants to do laundry. Mm -hmm. So I was just teasing her. Is that a rope maker? No, this is a grinder. Oh, okay. The only thing missing is the crank handle. It's got a nice stone to it and just clamps onto any board like it, like it did here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not, you don't have to take it off. I thought it was a rope maker for a minute. Yeah, he might like it. No, he's not handy. All right, I don't think there's anything else I need. All right, you guys, we did not score in there. I did. No, you didn't. You did not score. You got some stuff, yes, but you did not score. Because now in my book, score is when you get a deal. You paid retail price for those two pictures, but... I was okay with doing it this time. Normally I wouldn't want to do this because Katie cost me more in there than I cost me more in there. My thing was 15% off. I did buy that red tall um, rod iron stand uh, and I bought it even though it's bent. I can unscrew it. It gives it character, the bend does. It's old. And what it is, is it's a fire poker, like a fireplace poker holder, but it's heavy. So if I hang lanyards on it, they won't fly away. That's my thought process. They won't fly away. So, um, I bought it because I wasn't sure about it, but I have this thing where am I going to wish I had? And it was a 
I'm going to wish I had. Probably. So, I tell myself as I'm looking at something, am I going to wish I had if I walk away? Like, am I, in a couple days from now when I'm thinking about getting ready for an event, am I going to say, I wish I had? So, it, it fell under, I'm going to wish I had. <laughs> what? That what? That purse was ugly. No, it Katie picked the purse that was ugly. What did it say on it? Australian? No, I, I don't know, but it was... It was it. ugly. No, it wasn't. It was nice. It was ugly. It was 60 some dollars ugly. It was not ugly. Yes, it was. No, it had animals on it. It was ugly. I want it. Well, we, what we want what we get are two different things in life. I mean, maybe down the road, if ugly is still there, they'll put it on sale. We can pop back in here in a couple weeks and see if ugly's been put on sale. It's ugly. It's not ugly. Yes, it was. What do you ugly. wear is ugly? I don't care. Okay, fine. Why well, wear is ugly, but it was ugly. So, we're going to now head into town because we got side, side. Tracked. Tracked. But I got to I gotta quickly, I got to quickly put down the window and turn you guys around for a second and show you guys a bench made out of the back end of a Ford pickup. It's cool as all get out. Okay, here we go. Look at that. That's cool. A bench made out of the back of a Ford pickup. And it's an old model Ford pickup. You can tell by the shape of the bench. Now, would it be comfortable to sit on? I don't think so because of the way the top comes because of the dent on the on the thing. But I think it's cool that they did that. It's repurposing, recycling, whatever. I think it would be uncomfortable to sit on. I'm not going to get out and sit on it just to prove the point. I think it would. So, we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. Bye, y'all, for later. Alright, you guys, Hobby Lobby was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. The stuff is like, I can't pass it up. These are like 17, focus. It's like $17.99 and sell for $4.49. I cannot pass them up. But this was a bad idea. We're not going to Michael's. <laughs> I can tell you that right now, we're not going to Michael's. We can't afford to go to Michael's. So, this is a bad idea. I mean, these are normally $2.99 on sale for 90, uh, 74 cents. And they're the earring backs. I can't pass them up. This was a bad idea to come here. Your dad should have come and got my rain check yesterday. He should have come yesterday. I'm going to the clearance aisle, Katie, and trying to stay out of any more trouble. Yeah, we're going to go to clearance rack. I'm already in trouble. Already in trouble. Oh, and I didn't even see this. I didn't even see these. I didn't even see this stuff. I didn't even see all these beads, Katie, that are on sale. Do you see anything I gotta have that's on sale? Orange tickets only. Orange ticket only. Orange ticket only. Because I already have a problem. Some little pink pigs. I don't want the pink pigs. What do you think about these, Katie? The watermelon ones. Yes. Here's some fruit, but I don't know about the fruit. Here's some ladybugs and leek. No, I don't want those. I already got mushrooms at home. I haven't done anything with them. You see anything? These are cool. See, that's two nine. You almost can't pass these up. Look at those. They're normally they are normally eleven ninety nine 
for $2.99. You can't pass it up. Anything else I can't pass up? Oh my goodness. This is dangerous. These are cool, but they're fabric. And I wouldn't want fabric. These are nice. Oh, we got to get those. Those are nice. They're really pretty. Those we have to get. Sorry about doing that to you guys. Uh, fingers are getting full. I just made y'all dizzy. It's orange. I gotta get it. You know my orange thing right now. I don't want this. I got plenty of that kind of thing. I don't want mushrooms. I'm debating on more of these. <clears throat> Kills my back. Well, those are pretty. Oh, hell, we gotta get those. <sighs> At 99 cents? Yes. No, not that. Oh, yes, we gotta get these. <clears throat> You definitely have to get those. Kills my back. Kills my back. No. No. I don't care for that stuff so much. No, I don't like that. I don't care if it isn't 74 cents. No, I don't think I like it. What else is down here? I have to squat for. Alright, we're definitely getting these. Okay, we're definitely getting these. I'm getting in trouble, Katie. You put that in the buggy. I'm getting in trouble. I didn't even make it to the clearance rack yet. I don't know about those green ones, but they're what 74 90 cents. They're 74 cents. I don't see anything else I gotta have. Oh, good lord. Those, oh no, those are rubber. Those would go bad over time. They're not on sale. Look at the sale price. We're only doing sale. No, not now, not now, not after what's in that buggy. I have to renege. I have to renege. I have to. That means I go back on what I said I would do because my buggy is full of stuff. So I have to, I have to, re, I have to, I have to, oh, I definitely want these. They should have just called me up and told me they were having a sale so I could come in here and buy things. And they wouldn't have to waste their time putting stickers on things. <laughs> they could have just showed them to me. And I would have said, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. These are pretty. Aren't these pretty? For 99 cents, they're pretty. Look at these. See any more? I'll get these for 99 cents. I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, I need to get out of here. They're not 99 cents. I care. It gotta be 99 cents. I don't know about these. What do y'all think about these? Oh yeah, I'll do those. Okay. I'm making y'all dizzy, aren't I? I'm going to head back to the clearance section. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. 
I should stay away. Those are pretty. For 74 cents. Those are pretty for 74 cents. I'm going back to Clarence. I'm getting away from this section. I did not look here at the beginning. Dang it. I'm going to be losing beads as I go. That's 99 cent. That's 99 cent. I don't want anything from here. Here's a little not on sale. The llama's half price, but it's not on sale. Okay, get out of here, Janie. Go, 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 Janie. Go, go to Clarence. Go to Clarence. Go take a look at Clarence. Get away from all that. If you get any more trouble, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Janie. Keep going. Don't even look at paper. Good, it's not on sale. Don't even look at paper. All right, let's see what's on the clearance rack. Hopefully nothing. Let's hope there's nothing on the clearance rack that I want. Thank you. There's nothing on the clearance rack. Whew. See, there's nothing I want. So, I'm going to go up front and check out so I can have a heart attack about how much money I'm spending. So, fondant molds. Alright, let me go have a heart attack. I'll get back with you guys. Alright, you guys, we're at Goodwill. We are going to do this real quick. We're supposed to be meeting the family for dinner. That's not happening. So we are going to quickly go in here. See if we can find any treasures. Okay. Treasure seeking time. Hello. You may have that. Thank you. <laughs> Three ninety nine. Yeah. You want the bag? You want them? Buy them. You can no. put, I'll put them in a bag for you. It's it's above my price range. Okay, that stuff's a dollar ninety nine. Nah. I break it up and turn it into other things. Okay, so I got a bag for you to sell you then. A bag? It depends on what it looks like on the outside. The front one. Because I have been, huh? How much is that bag? I have been burned by those bags. I know. It's a fifty dollars. Oh no, no. I know, but I've been burned by them. Okay. Thank you, though. I've but also seen somebody come back and show me a diamond earring you got. I, yeah, but I'm not looking for that. Oh no, you're looking for stuff, sellable material. I no, I tear it apart and I put it with my paper beads I make. Okay. So. I, I know what you're talking about, and I watch those YouTube channels. I know. I, I met someone literally that shopped at the corporate campus that got a bag. Oh, yeah. They go through them and look for sterling silver and everything. His, uh, but my favorite. He's like, he came back and had to show me the diamond. He said, it tests all four diamonds tested. It's white gold, and for some reason, the back's crap, but I kind of understand why it was probably just dumped. Yeah, because they thought it was costume or something. But The greatest one was the first here. Customer came in. She had to show me the ring. It was three and a quarter carat. Wow. A nice, eighteen carat gold. Wow. And when this woman said she tested it, I knew what she was talking about. Yeah. She's the type of woman, and she goes, "I bought a bag of junk because I wanted to make like she said you do, like you do." And I'm looking at this ring, and I'm going, "It's nice and heavy." I wonder what's the diamonds to her face? They're cold. She gets out her diamond tester. Beep, 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 beep. All four go, oh, the three, this big diamond goes beep. 
Oh, she wow. Goes, she tested it three times, took it to a jeweler <laughs> just to make sure, and she came back to my story. Well, that's not a bad price on those. $1.99. Yeah, that's not bad at all. You get a bunch of them. I just spent $550 at, at Hobby Lobby, so. I heard that. I gotta be good right now. I gotta be good. But thank you. He was trying to get me in trouble. He was trying to get me in trouble. He was. He was trying to get me in trouble. I'm on a mission. I don't need to get in trouble. All right, let's go. We're going back here. Oops. Got to go this way. We're going back here to the plates and see if there's any cheap plates that we can go home and break. Okay? That's what we're going to do. That's okay. I tried to avoid you over there. <laughs> That's okay. All right. See any cheap plates, Katie? 99 cents. That's pretty. Did you see this plate? I don't want to break this one. It's got a chicken on it. Two ninety nine. Ooh, 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 look what I see. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's... I don't think I could break that. 99 cent. Ninety nine cent. I haven't broke enough stuff to know what to do yet. That's a dollar ninety nine. I kind of like this. I might get this one. It's a dollar ninety nine. Oh, I just think this is pretty. But I have not broken enough stuff to know nothing yet. Oh, that's heavy. And that stuff don't break. I'm sorry, but it don't. And no, this is not his stuff. That's a dollar ninety nine, and that's really pretty. I'm gambling. I'm gambling. I'm gambling. Two ninety nine. Nope, too much. That's pretty, but do enough yet. How much are these? These are $1.99. I just like this. I just like it. Oh, it's lightweight. But I think it would be ugly if it got broke. I think this is, oh, this is Pier 1. $2.99. A dollar ninety nine. That's a 
the well, it's a bowl that matches that saucer I just pulled. $2.99. My luck. I could not break that. $1.99, Oh, 99 Yes, I'm getting into trouble. You see any more plates? Hello. Tell them we're almost done. Our peoples wants us to get out of here. Our peoples are waiting on us. That's two no. I only have one two dollar plate, and it's one in my hand right here that they're getting to look at. Because I really think this is pretty if I do it right. I don't know if I do it right. But I think it's pretty. <laughs> Nathan's already there. Oh, Dad is. That might be Nathan trying to call me. I know I need to quit. Quit. nine dollars a plate that's that's that is I can't tell what that says that is royal ch I don't know what that is that is Royal China Japan this might be occupied Japan that might be occupied Japan Set you guys down for a minute. Right. You found Jesus? This didn't see how much they are. Oh, it's forty nine dollars for the whole freaking set. I don't I don't want that much dishes. I think it's pretty, but I don't want that many dishes. So I think we're gonna, it's 49 for the whole freaking set. So I think I'm gonna hold off. This is a silver wheat. All right, you guys, that's all I'm gonna get right here, I think. I'm gonna have to look around more. This is pretty. It's a shame there's not a couple of saucers to match it. See, those were $1.99. All right. I gotta go. Okay. All right, you guys. I went and got Marsha. And look what's happening. Look what's happening. If I'm driving down here. I'm buying. No, I'm talking to the phone, to the video. Said if I'm driving down here, I'm buying. <laughs> See, we're gonna, I'm just helping them out. I'm just gonna clear off the shelf for them, okay guys? So hold on a second. Okay, we got some stuff. 
we got some stuff. All this is on sale. But other than, I shot some of those yesterday. I do like these. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I walked away from these yesterday and I walked away from these yesterday. So, there's nothing else I really want. Spring is coming and Hobby Lobby has many spring so, items to help you complete your spring projects. Visit our seasonal department where you will find the What's that? Oh, what's that? Okay. What are these? Oh, I didn't see these. I think I might be get. Okay, I saw. Okay, what about? Oh, I need these. Hold on, guys. I need to walk away. I need to walk away. Walk away. Walk away. I just pulled my shoe up. I just walked on my own heel. Alright, now this is my other trouble spot. That's okay. Okay. All right, this is gonna get me in trouble too, guys. This is gonna get me in trouble too. I'm gonna make y'all dizzy and make myself dizzy. See, 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 see. Okay, you guys, we just came out of Hobby Lobby and the manager caught us in the store. He, okay, he walked by and he must've been training another manager or something. And he, they pointed to my buggy like, oh, look, look, look. And I could tell they were talking about my buggy because my buggy was full. Okay, my shopping cart was full. And then we come around again and he comes out of the aisle and he says, this is the stuff we love. He says, because you guys get a deal. We get to clear out inventory. We don't have to have hands on it a lot. In other words, they don't have to like move it to this aisle, move it to that aisle, put it on the clearance aisle, move it back, move it to an end cap because they, they don't have to move it around to unload it. Okay. Um, one employee caught me at the beginning and said, well, that's what happened to all my beads. Um, so, I mean, so he commented, well, then as I'm checking out, he walks up and he's smiling and, um, he's like, I didn't think about having to ring it out. I'm like, yeah, you have to ring it out. But in between, he said to me, thank you because you're really doing us a favor. And I said, and I said to him, I said, oh, well, I'll let my husband know that. And then I said to him, I said, can I videotape you saying that and he's like no no I don't want to be caught on record and I'm like oh crap because I would have just like made this video for him to have said to me um thank you for buying those because I already cleaned out Bradenton I already cleaned out Bradenton yesterday and cleaned out them today today I bought something other than just those beads I did not think about the charms that you can put uh, beads on both sides of on the bracelet almost like a uh, ID like the old ID bracelets where it has like the metal it has something saying on it and there's holes on both sides of the saying like a like a, a one inch piece um, like a one inch long one and a half inch long piece that like an ID thing I, I didn't think about those last night when I was in Bradenton I did not think I did not look in that section because I was so overwhelmed with the beads that's what happens I get overwhelmed with the beads and I did not, I did not see them. Marsha went in because she thought they overcharged her. They rang up something one too many times. So she went in to double check that. Um, if I got charged one too many times for something, there's no way I'd ever figure it out. I think you have to be a mathematician to look at their receipts because now they print the receipts front and back. And I really think you need a, 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 a math degree to cipher that a little bit. I mean, I... I I'm exaggerating. I could figure it out, but um, as much as I save, she's coming now. So we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do next. I don't know if we're going to get in trouble and go find a thrift store. I don't know what we're going to do next. I got to figure out what she wants to do next. Okay. Hopefully 
everything's okay. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Uh, okay, we have stopped at the Blue Heirloom and it says uh, electric um, multi-vendor stores got 3,000 feet of stuff. See that? 3,000 feet of stuff. All right, let's go find some stuff. That's cool. Look at this. That's like a metal. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Ooh. So if you find something, we just bring it up to you? Yes, please, yeah. Okay. Have it all. No. This is like a peddler's mall for you, Bevels. And Janie and Suzanne. This was a nice little lucky stop. Now, you see, you can bicker with her. I know. I'm like in Happyville here. I'm in Happyville. Did you find something already? Because you bent over. I got a seat first. All right, I'm going to this back part. I'll get that on the way out. Okay, I'll get that on the way out. There's a there's a bump here. Stuff, 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 stuff. Let's see. I think these are pretty. They're carnival glass. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Because you can't see through them. So they, Oh, there's even more in that hole. No, that's not. No? It looks like that's just cleaning that stuff. Right. There's a lot of souvenir spoons here. They're two dollars a piece. I don't want any more of that right now. I got a mask of the ones I got. I got to yeah. cut them up. This is a perfume bottle, I believe. It might be a carnival glass perfume bottle. It's got perfume in it. I'm not smelling it. Not smelling it. Not found a bargain yet. Not found a bargain yet. I have not found a I can't live without it yet. Where's my I can't live without you yet? Where are you at? Where are you at? Here, 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 boy, here, boy. Or here, girl, here, girl. <laughs> I don't see you yet. Where are you? You can wave at me. I hate when people do that to this stuff. I hate when they paint this gold stuff. When they what? This probably was gold at one time. It's from the 70s. It's probably gold and somebody painted it. That used to drive me nuts. I thought those were candle holders, but they're not. Here's a teeny weeny little camera. camera. It's not just a candle holder. They are candle holders. They are? Oh, it goes behind. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Goes behind them. Goes behind them. This is the second one of these things I've seen. These would make great bee trays when you're working on a project, but not for 16 bucks. The bears. 
Now, um, I heard someone say on YouTube yesterday that those little singer sewing machines like that, yeah. they are still one of the best things you can own in a sewing machine because they actually, uh, a lot of group, sewing groups will actually still use those to this day. I wonder that how much. That was, got, oh, they have, have, that's 40? Because I have one. I have one. And mine's like in like mint condition. Mama bought it. Well, I, my stepmother got it re, redone when she got my grandmother's house. All right, I'm not finding my bargain. Where's my bargain? Don't let my beads be my bargain of the day. No, I refuse. Seriously? 13 bucks. See those, like that, that diamond yeah. shaped purple? I got, I brought them back from Kentucky, and my friend was selling some in a yard sale. At the time, I didn't know what to do with them, so I didn't grab hers. But later, while I was up there, a month within the month, I went and bought some of those. They're amber color, mm -hmm. thinking that they would be great in a wind chime. I paid like nothing for them, like a dollar a piece. But they had a, oh, I almost bought something. I, um, anybody need a love picture? I don't need a love picture. Where's my bargain? I haven't found my bargain. I'm feeling, I'm feeling neglected here. Where's my bargain? Cool place. Somebody need any cow boots? Still have not found my bargain. These are pretty in a way, but they're not what I'm looking for. They're not what I'm looking for. That's a closet. <laughs> There's a staircase above that somewhere. What the heck would that be used for? I don't know. A calendar? But no, it doesn't go all the way to... No. Well, it goes to 25 um, days of Christmas. Maybe. Maybe. It is goes it? to 25. Okay. Is there some... Is, a, is there a Jewish... Is it the Jewish that give a gift every day before Christmas? So that might be it. A little, it's not, it has to be a big gift. It can be something little. It can be something like um, your favorite candy. Yeah, candy. I, I saw that somewhere. Ooh, this is pretty. But $5 to cut up? No. What are these? I don't know. They're $4 a piece. I don't know what they are. I don't know what I can do with them. I don't know what they are. Don't trip over that. Okay, I didn't find a gold mine. I didn't find anything I couldn't live without. Okay, all right. I hope you all enjoyed that.